what's going on guys um got the improved ringer circuit here uh kind of a don smith style or a old tesla style output where i just wound these extra coils around it and combine the output here with very fast Scotty diodes uh, hopefully you can see that well those two coils on the ends are wound in opposite directions the outputs come together with that with two switching diodes negative is left left open I now have a ground connection here to a spark gap uh, it is firing if I zoom in you should see it firing very dull purple I'll zoom out you can really see it if I put like a shadow behind it somehow um, and it is a little warm but anyway that thing is firing spark gap to ground producing radiant energy and I found out the spark gap to ground really rapidly recharges your capacitor bank so our voltage is at 107 volts basically what happens is the ringer circuit uses a very small input here's the input to it 4 watts and it uses even less when it recharges the cap bank. Once the cap bank reaches a full charge, it'll draw a little bit more power, which is very interesting. So to sum it up, 14 volt DC super cap powers up a DC boost converter board. I'm putting 14 volts into it. I don't really even need the converter board, but I'm just using it for experiments. The output goes to the ringer circuit. Ringer circuit produces wireless power and efficiently goes through a bridge rectifier. Um, also have a ground here through a spark gap, which very effectively and rapidly recharges a capacitor bank. Um, I'll demonstrate that. We have a voltage meter here on voltage, DC voltage, and we have an amp meter, DC amp meter. And now I will run my light bulb. So, that's the amps we're drawing, that's our voltage drop because we are draining the capacitor, there's our input. Once we fully drain the caps we will draw more input, and the correct way to use this is to use it in pulses, pulse power. So, here's the output sustained. 42.8 volts DC with output amperage is probably 100, 150 milliamps. There's the bulb. Here's our power draw. 13.88 watts. That big capacitor bank is sized to be in resonance with the bulb. Um, and I can disconnect this and we'll rapidly recharge our cap bank, our huge cap bank, that big one back there. And there's our voltage. I mean, there's our watt power consumption, there's our wattage. See how we draw less wattage as the cap bank recharges, which is very weird and interesting. So... Our input is very low while the cap bank recharges. And we are recharging pretty rapidly. So that was another breakthrough with the system. The grounded spark gap really helps. You can barely see it, but it is firing. So, if you're going to share that, demonstrate that. Capacitor bank charging up. We're hardly drawing an input. And again, I'll run this. We drop because we're draining our capacitor bank. 
And then once our cat bank drains, we will draw more power. And I have to further measure this. I'm not sure if this output is higher than that input because that is a resonant capacitor bank. And we did add that earth connection. So there's our current draw and our voltage while the load is being run. And the radiant energy is still present in all parts of the system. There's our power draw. Here's the bulb. And again, this is where the magic of the circuit occurs. You disconnect the load. Your capacitor bank will very rapidly recharge for virtually no input drain. So as we recharge, the input will drop, which is a remarkable effect with this circuit. So you can clearly see that our input to the circuit is dropping while we rapidly recharge. Don't know of any other circuit that can do that. While it's charging something, the input drops. And that occurred from the uh, grounded spark gap. And if you calculate it, um, because the correct way to use this power would be in pulses like this. You send it through that timing circuit I talked about. You use the power in pulses like that to recharge a big battery. And if you calculate it, you have more pulsed output power in time versus your input drain. So that fully explains it. We can see our voltage climbing. And again, this is how you would use it. You would use a timing circuit with pulses limit the output to 40 watts so it's impedance matched and one 40 watt pulse a second every four seconds or every three seconds would be good and you would still charge for virtually no input drain look at that, We're, that that's virtually nothing and you could even get a more efficient board than that without the light without the lit screen that wastes power too so you could even do that I just like the screen because it tells you everything and again correct way to use the power impulses boom boom still charging boom you could even use a uh, 0 0.1 second pulse with special timing circuitry very easy to use. Still charging. And again, that's the correct way to use the power. You'd pulse that into your uh, battery that you recharge. I'm going to try and keep this video under 10 minutes. There's the input. If you don't believe me, that's exactly how it looks. So. Let's go look at the ringer. Additional wireless pickup coils really helped. Uh, we have that cat bank charging as well as this massive one. And, uh, yeah, it's just incredible. That's the voltage now on our cap bank. And to end it, we will power up the bulb normally.
they're draining the cap bank. And it will reach kind of like a happy medium point where the bulb will run, caps will have a little voltage left in them, and we'll start drawing power from the source. So yeah, that's that. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, support the Patreon. Um... I sell the ringer, 150 bucks plus shipping. And you want to buy it, feel free. I finally got more of the um, rods in. More of those rods finally came in. The uh, mech glass laced ferrite. So, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, support the Patreon. And if you want to buy, you can email us. And you can also buy it through a Patreon tier. The price is a little bit more expensive through the Patreon tier. You can go to our member section, subscribe to the tier that allows you to buy the Ringer Circuit. You basically just subscribe to that $180 tier. And once you, you, you subscribe once, one time subscription, then you email me your address and I ship you the circuit. And then you cancel your tier after the payment goes through. So you don't keep getting billed monthly. That's another payment option is through the Patreon, and you can also just pay through email. We accept Cash App, Venmo, and Google Pay, and thank you, everybody.